Here we have a two stock portfolio. So we've got stock A and stock B. And we're going to calculate um, a, a couple of things. One, the portfolio's suspected return. And two, the portfolio's volatility. All right, so let's start with expected return. So expected return for a two stock portfolio is a weighted average of the expected returns of its two components. And so that's going to be the weight in stock A times the expected return of stock A plus the weight of stock B times the expected return for stock B. Now, in order to calculate uh, all of these things, uh, we, we need weights. And so let's just uh, up here, we'll, we'll go ahead and calculate our weights and use them for reference later. So we know that the weight in any particular component is the dollars in that component divided by the total dollars in the portfolio. And so uh, what are our what are our dollars? Um, so we got a thousand dollars in A. 3,000 in B. So we got 1,000 in A, 3,000 in B, and 4,000 in the total portfolio. So weight in A is 1,000 divided by 4,000 or 0.25. Weight in stock B is everything else. So 1 minus 0.25 is 0.75, or we could just calculate it outright. There's dollars in B, 3,000 divided by total dollars, 4,000. So that is 0 0.75. Let me put a box around this so we'll keep it nice and safe. So this is, uh, this is some information that we're going to use for both the expected return and the portfolio um, volatility uh, calculation. So let's go back to the expected return now. All right, so we've got this formula, and uh, we have actually all these quantities given, so now we can just insert them. So this is the weight in A, that's 0.25, times the expected return of A. There's the expected return of A, 0.158, so we'll put that here. Now let's go to B, so the weight in B is 0.75. What's the expected return of B? That's given here, 0.127. So the expected return for the portfolio is 0.1348 or 13.48%. So there's the answer for the expected return. Now let's go to volatility. So volatility, we have a formula we can just plug things in. It's just a little bit more complicated because there are several components. And so just a reminder, volatility is the same thing as standard deviation. We're looking for sigma. Our formulas, though, are for sigma squared or the variance. And so the steps then are going to be to first calculate sigma squared or the portfolio variance, then take the square root of that, and we have the portfolio volatility. Let's write down the formula for portfolio variance. So we know this is a variance again because I have this squared term. So the portfolio variance is the weight of asset A squared, don't forget to square it, times the variance of A. So this is a sigma squared here. And then a similar term for component B. We've got a weight of B squared times the variance of B. And then we've got this cross term. So the cross term is two times the product of the weights times the product of the volatilities. So here we're going to volatilities, not variances. And then we multiply by rho for the correlation coefficient between A and B. All right, so we should be able to uh, now just insert values and solve. Okay, so WA squared, that's 0.25 squared. Sigma A squared, okay, what do we have in the problem? Here is sigma A. That's the standard deviation or the volatility of stock A, and so that's just going to need to be squared. So we're going to multiply that by 0.4 squared. Same thing for B. So the weight of B is 0.75. Th 
that needs to be squared. The variance of B, we have the volatility. There's sigma B is 0.9. Since we want a variance, that's going to be squared. Now let's go to the cross term. So 2 times the product of the weights. So we've got the 0.25 and the 0.75 going in here. Then the product of the volatilities. So sigma A times sigma B. So that's going to be 0.4 for sigma A and 0.9 for sigma B. And the correlation coefficient. What's the correlation coefficient? That is right here. Correlation coefficient is 0.3. Multiply by 0.3. Now, be careful with your keystrokes. Enter that into your calculator and you can find the portfolio variance. And that is 0 0.5061. Now remember, that is the variance. The variance is 0 0.5061. But what do we want? We want the volatility. So the volatility, which is the same thing as sigma, sigma p equals the square root of that number. So 0 0.5061. Six, one square root, which is point seven one one four. So there is the answer.